hello everyone welcome to the explanation so as you can see uh, today i have come with a video of uh, nepal engineering council registration examination and today i'll be discussing the syllabus of computer engineering okay so this is the first time that students will be attempting the exam for license and because before uh, there was nothing called exam there was no such uh, thing as exam okay so this is the syllabus that I have got from NEC site, so you can get this syllabus from Nepal Engineering Council site, and other informations are also there. Okay, so as you can see, uh, this is the syllabus of computer engineering. Okay, so there are I think uh, ten chapters. Okay, so chapter one and two, that is the fundamental concept that we study in first year or second year. Chapter three to nine, they are the core subject of computer engineering. and again the 10th chapter is re related to project planning okay so we'll discuss the syllabus and uh, as i told you we are also going to make videos uh, of all the topics if possible and also the mcq questions will be discussing so it, it may take time but we'll try to make that okay so let's go to first chapter so first chapter is concept of basic electrical and electronics engineering okay so this one we studied in studied in first year So here we can see the basic concepts like Ohm's law, uh, voltage, current, power, Kirchhoff's law, like that. Second, uh, if you go to one point two section, so it can uh, it consists of theorems. So okay, various theorems we have studied: Thevenin's theorem, superposition theorem. One point three, we have AC fundamental, that is alternating current fundamentals. Okay, so here we have to study this three phase system also. If you see. 1.4 we will study about semiconductor devices okay so semiconductor devices we have bgt mosfet and cmos 1.5 we have signal generator that is oscillator rc lc crystal oscillator as well as waveform generators and 1.6 we have amplifiers class a class b class ab and uh, it's bgt transformer push pull stays okay so all these we have to study in chapter 1 Going to chapter two, we have digital logic and microprocessor. Okay, so digital logic we can see we have I think we studied in uh, second year, I think. Oh yeah, so digital logic we have got second semester or second year. So digital logic we have got this logic gates. They are very easy. Truth table, sum of products. Okay, and then two point two it's uh, combination and arithmetic circuits again decoder, encoder, subtractor, multiplexer. 2.3 we have sequential logic circuits okay so this contains uh, flip flops registers uh, counters 2.4 we have microprocessor okay so here the important thing is uh, architecture and features of microprocessor and also the assembly level programming like sorry assembly language programming 2.5 we have microprocessor system so here we have uh, you know interfacing io uh, then we have this ppi serial interface and um, this memory device classifications we'll be studying 2.6 we have interrupt operation so it consists of uh, isr interrupt processing etc okay so these two chapters are the fundamental uh, fundamental chapters that we study in in year first or second year so from here chapter 3 the core computer subjects start okay so first chapter 3 we will study about the programming languages okay so here it contains both programming language that is c as well as c++ so both of this programming language are in this single chapter okay so let's go to 3.1 3.1 it's c programming okay so token operator formatted and formatted input output controller statement looping user defined function recursive function string array similarly there is pointer structure union how we pass this structure to function how we pass uh, you know uh, array structure and pointer file okay random access to file okay so we have to you have to prepare for mcq also okay mcq questions so here i'll uh, while making the video of the subjects sorry topics i'll be discussing in detail all these things so from 3.3 if you see here we have c++ okay so c++ we have name space function overloading inline function default argument pass return by reference introduction to class like this we have dynamic memory allocation friend function friend class okay if you see chapter 3 sorry topic 3.4 we have object oriented programming okay so operator overloading data conversion constructor dis, uh, 
destructor similarly 3.5 we have pure virtual function and file handling okay so this in again uh, it consists of virtual function dynamic binding uh, how we close and open a file okay next is uh, 3.6 we have generating programming and exception handling okay so overloading function template then exception handling try catch throw all these topics will be discussed here going to chapter 4 again it is a combination of two subjects that is computer organization and embedded system okay so computer organization part is there also embedded system part is there so 4.1 if you see we have control and central processing unit okay so basic chapter this is control memory addressing computer configuration cpu structure arithmetic and logic gate risk sys 4.2 we have computer arithmetic and memory system okay so arithmetic and logic operation memory hierarchy cache memory about uh, algorithms write policy name of caches all these will be discussing 4.3 if you see it consists of input and output organization and multi processor okay so it consists of peripheral devices iu module then direct direct memory access interconnection inter process communication 4.4 if you see we have hardware software design issue so it consists of now from 4.4 the embedded system portion starts okay so it consists of embedded system classification of embedded system custom signal purpose optimizing custom signal purpose processor all these will be studying 4.5 if you see we have real time operating and control system so it consists of task process multitasking task scheduling device driver etc and 4.6 we have hardware to skips language and ic technology so we have vsdl overview and uh, combination and sequential logic using vsdl pipelining etc okay so these are the computer organization and embedded system going to chapter 5 we have computer network and network security system okay so this is the core network part and uh, number of question can be asked from here okay this is very important chapter so we have introduction to computer networks so here we'll be discussing about osi model tcp ip model and various devices and transmission media okay next is data link layer so here we'll be discussing about various error detection correction flow control lan arp various protocols like uh, this ethernet token ring token bus okay p2p 5.3 we have network layer so network layer if you see we have addressing very important topic classful address internet address and we have subnetting another important topic is routing algorithms yeah distance vector link start uh, routing protocol that is arp rarp ip icmp these all protocols we have to study ipv6 and transition 5.4 we have transport layer okay so transport protocol port and socket connection establish connection release flow control application layer okay again various protocols we will be study and in security we are going to study very important topic that is rsa algorithm digital signature you know ipsec vpn etc now chapter 6 again it is the combination of toc and computer graphics okay so in toc portion 6.1 we are going to study introduction to finite automata okay so dfa and dfa finite state machine uh, pumping lemma etc 6.2 we have introduction to context free language cfg then bottom up and top down left mouse right mouse cnf all this we are studying turing machine we will study in 6.3 so it is introduction to turing machine notation then uh, turing machine as language recognizer turing machine as enumerator okay so all this we are going to study 6.4 it's graphics okay so raster vector display process graphic software two dimensional transformation and three dimensional transformation now coming to chapter 7 again this is very important chapter a number of questions can be asked from here because we can see it is the combination of three subjects data structure database and operating system okay so don't skip this chapter so first of all data structure okay we will study all these things that is uh, all the you know space analysis abstract data stack array dynamic implementation of linked lakes then we have um, trees yeah trees or avl tree vanity etc 7.2 we are going to study about sorting and searching in graphs so you can see various types of sorting mechanism merge sort radix sort cell sort etc we have various types of searching binary search etc and graphs are there okay so all these we are going to you know teach you uh, in very depth next is we have now 7.3 it starts for 
data base so data model normalization and sql will be studying here next is transaction processing and concurrency control and crash recovery okay so again this is the portion of database if you see that is ec property concurrent execution serializable okay now 7.5 and 7.6 it consists of operating system fine so operating system we have uh, operating system structure process about scheduling and then we have memory addressing swapping virtual memory etc so all this we'll discuss in detail going to chapter 8 we have software engineering and oad these two subjects are there so in software engineering uh, 8.1 and 8.2 and 8.3 are there i think yeah and for object oriented 8.4 8.5 and 8.6 okay so 8.1 we have various types of models agile model v model big man model we have this uh, cac case and requirements and all then we have software design okay so software design we have client server architecture distributed system of uh, distributed object arch architecture then we have software testing cost estimation and quality uh, management so here we will study about various you know acceptance testing uh, testing sqa iso model etc going to oh, object oriented fundamental analysis we have use case uh, uml diagram object oriented design we have uh, you know we are going to study about various objects and patterns and in implementation we will study about various programming and development processes and exception and error handling chapter 9 is about again two different chapters that is ai and neural network okay so ai is our subject but neural network it is not our subject still we have studied this in i think we studied this in some you know topics so let's see what our syllabus are there so introduction to ai and intelligent as in problem solving and searching techniques okay so various algorithm is there uh is star hill climbing etc knowledge representation is there expert system and natural level processing is there and machine learning portion is there okay so this is very beneficial if it's not in the syllabus still this is going to help you in future being a computer engineering student and neural network so 9.5 and 9.6 these topics are very important as a computer engineering for you chapter 10 as i told you it's all about project planning and design so okay so they have in the syllabus there comes engineering drawing also so some portions of drawing also you have to recall again engineering economics is there project planning project management epp is there and finally nepal engineering council acts and regulations is there okay so these are the 10 chapter syllabus discussion okay so now let me tell you how you are going to study so i think it's not possible to cover all this syllabus only in one or two months it's very hard it's possible but it will be hard for you because it contains all the four year part of whatever you have studied so it it's better to study some portions of these subjects here and there okay now and then you can study this and after the first examination we'll see what type of questions come okay so uh, being in this channel i'll try i'll try to make we'll try to make videos on is topics from now only like after some one week we'll try to start making the videos and please uh, go through the videos in daily basis so that it will not be a burden for you next thing is uh, one benefit that i see is those students who are going to attempt for uh, you know psc exam lok seva exam or government exam in nepal the syllabus is very fruitful because very 90% topics of this syllabus it contains the syllabus of lok seva and all so you will you are going to prepare for that also so take it as a you know plus point yeah plus point and uh, let's start preparing together so that it will be helpful so i uh, will be making both videos like suppose if i am going to make this video of uh, suppose this introduction to c programming okay so i'll first make the video of topic 3.1 and again i'll make a video about the questions like what of questions can be asked mcq and all will be covering so let's see how we can help you okay till then stay safe and let's hope for best uh thank you and stay safe